Hi guys, Graham Monk here with another video on the making of A Million Stars We Are Golden. Please like and subscribe as it really helps to grow the channel. Thank you. In this video I'd like to talk about the sounds and the software used in making the song, the video of A Million Stars We Are Golden. The first sound I looked at was a pad type sound and the pad name is Open House from the Native Instruments synthesizer Massive X. I reduced the cutoff frequency as there were too many harmonics or high frequencies coming through with a particular sound and just using the cutoff managed to create quite a good sound. There was also a built-in stereo delay with the sound and I thought this worked really well so I decided to keep the delay in the particular preset. The speed of the song is 100 beats per minute and the stereo delay on the particular preset syncs well so I decided to keep the delay in. I like the particular sound of the pad because it gives a nice accompaniment without competing with the frequencies of the vocal. In the introduction I added a cool organ sound called Auto Pew and this sounds just like this. I like the use of the rotating speaker sound, the Leslie speaker effect and it also happens in stereo so I really like that uh, sound of the rotating speaker in stereo. For the bass guitar I used a Scarabee pre-bass amp. I really like the sound of the Fender type sound and it gave a really good depth to the bass sound. I also used a rhythmic synth sound which gives a sense of movement to the piece and this is used at various places throughout the song. The introduction sounds like this. I think it gives a nice feeling of anticipation for the vocals coming. I will leave the sound of the vocals and the reverbs, delays, etc., that I've used on the vocals, as um, I think that will probably merit its own video for that. The next instrument I want to talk about is the cello sound and I used the Tina Jiao or the Tina Gao cello. Um, apologies to Tina Jiao if I got your name wrong. Um, I think it's beautifully sampled. Um, I absolutely love the glissando effects so really pleased with this preset. Next we come to the drums and I used Isotope Break Tweaker. I particularly like this software as the sounds are very good and the user interface is very clear, very simple to use. I created different tracks for the kick, the snare, the hi-hat and bounced these down into audio I used Logic Pro as my door of choice. I have used Cubase in the past, but I uh, always seem to get better results with Logic Pro. I managed to restrict myself to 30 tracks 
and that included various different takes of vocals so I was able to whittle it down to about uh, 17 tracks for the final result. I tend to use Isotope software as I have very good experiences with Isotope, especially using Neutron 4 and the RX processing software. I also use Waves plugins and I have a substantial number of Waves plugins, but uh, I tend to go back to Isotope. For creating vocal harmonies, I used Melodyne for pitch notes. I also use Waves Ovox and also Waves Harmony. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and make comments about any of the points raised. This is a new project for me, so any tips or advice would be greatly received.